As a sister asked about uh, what has the Prophet وسلم, said about women and the woman's right and the man's right in marriage, inshallah. Okay, uh, that's not exactly part of our talk, or unless you want to ask, <clears throat> how was the Prophet what, what did he say in the rights of the woman or the, as a part of his sunnah? So maybe that's what the sister meant, so we'll answer it that way. First of all, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and your wives will have rights similar to the rights against them. He says similar. He didn't say same. Because men is cursed who dress like women. And women who dress like men is cursed. They both got on clothes, but not, well, what? Not what? Not the same. They have the same rights in the sight of Allah but they don't have the same reciprocal rights. No, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he designed the rights for those, you understand me? You know, the, 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 the manager of the bank, the manager of the bank, and the other people that work inside the bank. Both of them are employees of the bank, is that right? But are their rights and responsibilities the same? Are they? No. So Allah said, al kawamuna ala nisa that men, they have authority responsibility over the women because of the strength that Allah gave them. Allah gave them that. So men are responsible to take care of the sisters. If the sister get married, if she don't want to work, she want to stay home and paint her nails and do her hair, okay, and just sit back and chill and drink lemonade, she can do that. Why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her a job that the man can't do. She got to have, she got she to gotta be pregnant. She got to give birth to the baby. She got to take care of the baby. And she got to raise the baby. And she got to take care of some babies that's already 40 years old. <laughs> you know, that's a 40-year-old man still living with his mother. So the women is not expected to do what men do. And the men is not expected to do what women do, although we live in a society that have went flip-flop. So the issue is they have similar rights, but not the same. And our Prophet Sallallahu was the most gracious in giving the rights. And our brothers, the way we should deal with our sisters, we should give the sisters their rights before we demand ours. We should protect the sisters because when they are, they should be a protected species. That we do everything. We even lose our lives. We lose our freedom to protect our women. We don't pimp our women. We don't take advantage of our women. We don't beat our women. We don't mistreat our women. We don't do that. That's not from the Sunnah of the Prophet. And as for our sisters, we don't badger the men. You don't talk back to the men. You don't, because the man, he in charge. Come on, sister, you can't have it both ways. You can't be chilling, drinking lemonade, wearing nice clothes. You ain't got to work. You don't got to do nothing, but you want to be back talking. Come on now, sister. If you want to be back talking, then what the man should do, he should sit in the window and chill, comb his hair, shine his shoes, and you should go out and work. This way you can back talk. No, let's put things in their proper perspective. That if you have a household, if you have a company, if you have a group, somebody got to be in charge. It's right or wrong. You can't say, oh, we both in charge. Yeah, so that means you, you driving a car that's got two steering wheels, huh? <laughs> so, sister, the rights are clear. And Allah gave the rights. The Prophet Sallallahu didn't give the rights. And none of the wives of the Prophet Sallallahu ever complained that he did not give them their rights. So we can't say that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that he was guilty for what men may be doing today that is not from Islam. And Allah, he knows the best.